Classical music has long been seen as something that's boring or for old rich people. So it's refreshing to see that a lot is going against that trend and against that belief of thinking. And a lot of it's happening on TikTok. Not that I'm endorsing TikTok or anything. I mean, you really shouldn't be on TikTok. You should be practicing, right? But anyway, today I've saved you the time and you're gonna go practice immediately after this video by putting forward 13 of the most viewed classical music TikTok videos. And we're gonna check them out and see what's up. I mean, who knows, we might learn a thing or two. All right, so first up we have when a string snaps. Oh! <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> nice, wow, good recovery. That was really good. It would have been impossible for her to like continue on. Actually, I think I know this person, Christina. Yes, I do. Yeah, that happens all the time. I mean, it's definitely happened to me more than a few times. My E string is definitely against and out to get me. That's a good one. Okay, next, water concerto. Wow. Okay. Well, this one kind of reminds me of uh, me playing in the bathtub as a kid. This is modern classical music. Anyway, moving on. One day of playing violin. One day. <laughs> it is true. Three years of playing violin. Seven years of playing violin. Ten years of playing violin. <laughs> Seventeen years of playing violin. <laughs> what is so wrong? <laughs> okay, lols. I don't know about the last part, but I would say that between the part three years to seven years, that there was like I noticed an immediate like okay, there's like a leveling up that happens, right? I think that's pretty true. One day is pretty true. Three years. I still remember when I first started. I sounded pretty similar to that. You sound kind of like a cat dying, right? That's like what everyone sounds like on the violin. Look, everyone's journey is different. I think some there are definitely some prodigies out there. After three years, they could be amazing, right? But I think what the main point is like between three and then seven, there's like this, oh, like leveling up. But I also think that it's that's the most difficult part for most people. You know, guys, stay strong, stay strong. We're gonna stay strong throughout all these TikTok videos too. Let's move on to the next one. Ah, uh, it's one of those comparison videos. Okay, I see, like five years versus 15 years. I guess they are showcasing the difference of what practice does for you. Hmm, interesting. Oh my gosh, the comments are so mean. Five years does not sound like that. I'm sorry, the five years lady sounds like five months. <gasps> Wow, this is the problem with TikTok. You know, people are like in a different state of mind. They're consuming these entertaining videos. So I think that there's this sort of crowd jeers at like, you know, are you entertained? And it can actually be really like psychologically intimidating and scary. Exactly this kind of stuff that made me want to put together like a community of people so they could like practice together and not have to deal with stuff like this. And I'm proud to say that I do have something and it's called Tonic. It's a platform that gets people together from all levels, uh, all around the world, all instruments and you just yeah encourage each other while you practice and you can also like exchange of course feedback tips all that kind of stuff to help you uh, level up your playing so yeah definitely definitely go check it out it's non-judgmental because everyone is doing the same thing it's free uh, go download it you can download it you can scan this uh, QR code on the screen or you can download it from the link in my description below so yeah hope to see you practicing on tonic you'll love it moving on Ooh, raising money for the oh this is Rob's I know Rob you know this song Oh, yeah. Sorry? Oh, nice. Okay. You want to try to play? Okay. Probably better than yeah. I am. Oh, she sounds really good. Yeah, way to go. That's so nice. He's so nice. <laughs> That's great. Can I play one more song for you? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> it's just so funny because I know Rob. We did a video recently and he's like the nicest guy, right? But <laughs> This video makes him look like he's just flexing in front of her. Actually, even the comments say that. <laughs> Bro took it personally. Yeah, I couldn't let her win. That's what Rob says. Yeah, he's he's super nice. I really like working with him. Anyway, moving on. What do we have here? Oh, Dudamel. Wow, he's conducting the audience. That's really cool. This is... This is a really famous piece. Uh, this is by Strauss. And it's often played in the New Year's like concerts. I mean, it's really cool. You see that at like JFK Collier concerts as well. But for classical, it's always been this thing where I think people need permission to feel like comfortable that they're at home. Usually you're kind of seated there and you're just trying not to make noise. You feel like you're like almost, you know, in a straight jacket. I've had a lot of friends who told me that, that they even like didn't know what to wear to a classical music concert. But I think like as artists, it's our job to make the audience feel comfortable. So that's something that I try to do at all my concerts. And I know that many artists uh, do as well. That's a great thing for classical music. All right, moving on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think the most popular stuff in classical music I've noticed has been either stuff that has really distinctive rhythm where people can kind of do like their head banging thing, you know, and they know because rhythm gives you this feeling of comfort. You know when the next beat is gonna happen, right? And with I think a lot of the stuff that isn't clear in classical music that people get lost the most. So if there's not a clear rhythm or a clear melody that people can hold on to, then yeah, that becomes tough. So when you're selecting pieces, definitely select pieces that have clear rhythm, clear melodies, or both. This is a movie. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's really creative. Of course, James Bond theme. I love that how they made the shot actually look like it appeared on his back. That was really creative. Oh, I know this one. What happens when you fall asleep in a concert? <laughs> the, 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 the. <laughs> yeah, this one is really funny. Actually, this happens a lot also at the start of the third movement of the Corn Gold Violin Concerto. There's a few violin concertos where this happens as well. Also at the beginning of the third movement of the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, there's always like, you know, the second movement. It's always usually, second movements tend to be like, you know, more softer, more like kind of intimate movements. And then third movement, when it starts with a bang, it's like, bam! There's always like, as I'm on stage, I've had several, you know, moments, not quite to this level, not someone like shrieking, but like definitely when people, you see them like, they kind of jolt up in their seats a little bit. But yeah, so that's really cool. All right, or conductor gets pranked by an orchestra. Oh, I can, I can tell what this is gonna be. <laughs> the other conductor just appears out of nowhere. He's just like completely lost control over his instrument, right? There's this confusion. I want to see that that moment on his face where he's just like, what the heck? <laughs> he's just like, huh? That's a really nice surprise. Oh, there's another conduct, conduct us. Oh, this is like a social experiment. <laughs> Like this? <laughs> All right, you ah, keep going? <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, I would love to try this. Oh, this guy has like... I love how the orchestra is also going with like the motions of the conductor as well. That's so nice. 
voice. Oh, she's so cute as well. I love things like this because it's kind of like pranks, but really harmless pranks. I would want to try this as well. Be like, da -da -da -da, and then like, just like slow down, see how fast the musicians react. That'd be so much fun. All right, what's this? Oh yeah. Lacrimosa, Mozart. Very famous. One of his, I think his last work, his last composition before he passed away. Bass. Tenor. Alto. Soprano. Wow, he's a good voice. Add some flute. Add a little spice. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so sacrilegious, but so good. Write some garbage pop lyrics. Oh, this is so good. Wow. Wow. I'm actually really impressed. This is great. This is one of the good stuff about TikTok. Like people get really creative and they can combine amazing things. Oh, I think we got down to our last one. Let's see. This is what happens when you play Interstellar in Paris. Oh, I like that movie, Interstellar. Look at what these guys will do. They just happen to have their violin cases. Oh, okay. Well, that could, that could happen. I mean, I do travel around with my violin case. Wow. How are they doing this without rehearsing? I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> but it didn't matter. I was so caught up in this story. It's like, whoa, music is the language of love. And you see the people there, they're all like intrigued. I was just like so sucked up in the story. Holy moly. But it was like, wait, they haven't had their cases. That's fine. Immediately I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, I carry around my case all the time as well. Then they just played and then it was like, <gasps> And then it was like, wait, I have to rehearse so often. How is this possible? It was like, suspect. Yeah, this could be set up or it could be real. Who knows? There are real people there as well. Okay, crazy idea. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna go find this guy and I'm sure I can do some investigative work, find out where he is. He's in Paris. They said Paris in the beginning. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, bye, video's over guys. I was gonna see you next time. And uh, yeah, all right, <laughs> we're done. I'm going to Paris. See you in Paris, bye. <laughs> We are going to Paris. Okay, as you can see, we're in the beautiful streets of Paris, and I've actually come here to try and see whether or not I can find this guy. And uh, yeah, he's usually hanging around a few public spaces. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 is this him? Wait one second. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's that's actually him. That's actually him. Is that Vivaldi? Yes. <laughs> you want to you play together? You want to play with me? Yeah, I got my violin.